Now, weekend, <laughs> UFC 228, Tyron Woodley wins the belt. And Holy still shit. Not until. Did you see that? I mean, man, what an impressive performance by Tyron Woodley. Unbelievable. Um, he went out there and he put on the performance of his lifetime. Lifetime When everybody, it seems to be, was against him, when everybody was rooting for Darren Till, I kind of feel like the UFC were as well. Um, Tyron, you know, he opened his mouth at the press conferences and things like that. He always gets booed. It's, it, it, it's a crazy... It's a crazy thing that he's not embraced more. You know, I remember Dan, Daniel Cormier used to be a guy that used to always get booed, but he's turned it around. Uh, Woodley, you know, he does play the victim a little bit sometimes, which is a hard thing for uh, uh, the, the, the paying public to get behind. But all that aside, you cannot get by the fact that Saturday night, he was incredible. Unbelievable. I mean, Darren Till, unfortunately, didn't even land a single shot, I don't nope. think. I mean, I'm not sure. He, did, did, he didn't. Is that official? That's, I think that's official, according to Fight Metric. Not one significant yeah. strike. And it's not It's not a knock on Darren Till, obviously. Darren Till's a monster. No. Okay. Um, but, you know, and I, uh, I do have to say I did say this. Um, I think that Tyron Woodley is a different type of athlete. And I think Tyron Woodley is a, a guy who he seems to be motivated by doubt. He seems to be motivated by haters. He has like a chip on his shoulder. And I think, look, he might perform best when he is coming in and people are kind of questioning whether or not he can do it. Um, he looked unfucking believable. Looked so good in every area of the fight. He ended up getting a second round Darsh choke, but also was beating Darren Till. Um, standing up as well. It wasn't even like it was just like, oh my God, I'm going to take this guy down. He was just more no. explosive and faster and, and was just the, well, you know, the well, better man that night. Well, the thing was, and I don't know if this is definitely the case because I haven't spoken to Darren, but what it looked like to me as being a veteran who has had more fights than UFC than anyone in the world up until Saturday fucking night, you never Jim said that. Miller. Had, oh, Miller. Had, Jim, yeah, Jim Miller had one extra. We never even... got the most wins. He hasn't got the most wins. Okay, that was what we were kind of keeping our eye on. Most fights ain't shit. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it's still Fine. good. I, was I like Jim I'm Miller. tied with Jim Miller. I was born yeah, in New no, Jersey. Okay. okay, all right. Let's not make it about you, Lewis. Um, <laughs> so, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you scumbag. <laughs> so, so, the thing, the problem for Darren, this is what I think, and I'm, you know, I think I'd say this to his face, I'd say it to his team, I think they know. Problem was, Tyron Woodley, is an outstanding wrestler and he doesn't use it very often because Till went out there and as we say, he didn't land anything significant. I don't even think he really threw anything. And the problem is when you're facing a really, really good wrestler, it's hard to open up, right? Because especially being English, we're not used to those caliber guys of wrestlers. You know, we're not used to facing world-class wrestlers. I'm not saying Tyron is world-class, but compared to an English guy, he might as well be an Olympic champion. You know what I'm saying? Now, the English weekend wrestle, my level of wrestling now is at a decent level, but I've done MMA for a long, long time, and only now is at a decent level. So when you go out there and you're fighting somebody that wants to take you down to the ground, you're very hesitant to let anything go because you, you're waiting for them to shoot. You want to defend the takedown and then start unloading with the hands. You saw it with me against GSP. I was very, other than the fact I had nearly had a broken rib, but whatever, that aside, um, I, I was hesitant to throw as well because I knew his entire game plan was to take me down. And that's what affected Till. That's why he didn't throw anything. And that's why Tyron was able to get off on him. Now, Tyron exploded. People talk about his speed all the time, but Jesus Christ, it was on display Saturday night. When he did explode, it was terrifying. He tried to take him down. He got the body lock. Uh, a very tall person like Darren Till is hard to take down with the body lock because the legs are still on the ground, and Darren did a good job of defending. But ultimately, in the second round, he must have thought maybe his coach, he said, listen, Darren, you've got to do more. And he rushed in to try and be aggressive. And of course, when he ran in, got caught with that shot, got put down. And the ground and pound from Tyron, man, those elbows, they were fucking brutal, man. Yeah. They were heavy, heavy, heavy elbows. I mean, that really sent a message to everyone in the division. Darren Till did well. He didn't give up. He was still fighting for position, still trying to improve his position. Tyron Woodley mounted at one point, and I thought, shit, here we go. That's the end. And I think Darren, again, managed to squirm, reclaim half guard or something. Uh, as we all know, if you saw the fight, it was a Doris choke. You probably read online. It was a Doris choke that finished it. But this just shows, well, a number of things. A, how strong Tyron Woodley is, and B, possibly how rocked uh, Darren Till was. Because that Doris choke wasn't locked in, right? When, when, when you get the movements of a Doris choke, you have to sp sprawl your legs 
So your hips, so your penis is pretty much on the floor. You you lower your weight and straighten your body out. Tyrone was still kind of crunched up on his knees, right? But he but he still but he just squeezed like a well, motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tyron's penis was probably on the floor. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Come on, me or you, a guy like me or you? I don't know, but it's, it's Tyron we're talking about. Continue. Sorry, keep it serious. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for <laughs> sure. No, you're 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 right. <laughs> Shame. Shame. I used my weekend productively. I was out buying fucking shame bells. You really did. Here's what's funny. Michael Bisping legitimately went to a store, saw a bell, and said, that's it. That's the one. No. Do you know what the thing is? And what? realistically, it's taking over the world. Fucking Amazon, man. I don't leave my house for anything these days. Amazon covers everything. Hold on. We'll get into that in a minute. It's an interesting discussion of debate or topic, whatever. Tyron Woodley taps him out, gets his black belt, Unreal. Commiserations, Darren Till. He's only 25 years old, 25, 26. He'll be back. You know, I mean, Tyron Woodley is a special athlete. I mean, you said it. He's kind of like the modern day GSP, which I agree with. Well rounded, hard hitter, explosive, powerful, experienced, clever, tough fucking opponent, man, to mm. beat. Uh, so, no shame to Darren there. It was a big moment. Yeah, he didn't come off, but he's still young. He'll learn from this. I mean, I myself, I was 15 and 0. I lost. And you get, you make changes, you come back better. Is there a little part of you, and you, you're, you know, I don't know if you, I mean, I should ask you this off air, because I don't know if you can even admit this, but is there a little part of you that's like, good, I'm still the only motherfucker from the UK to hold the <laughs> Um, No, come on, come on. I mean, listen, um, I always wanted to be the first ever champion from the UK, always. Uh, and I achieved that. You know, and will there be another one after me? Of course there will. You can't sit here and wish that everybody loses because I want to be the only champion, you know? No, I, I want mixed martial arts to prosper in the UK. It's still a growing sport there and more champions is needed. Dude, I'm opening 110 fucking UFC gyms. I need people to live and breathe UFC gym and they don't need to know about UFC. So therefore, we need guys like Darren Till to win. Um no, it, it it was a shame for Darren, and he that grew is a really me. good I mean, point, I, though. I that's not like that's what? not like a a lost point about like you know you do have a vested interest in UK mixed martial arts growing and expanding. It's it's really true. It's like on it from a business perspective, you know, think about what you did when you when you won the Ultimate Fighter. I mean, I'm sure I don't know what the landscape looked like before in the UK, but I'm sure it legitimately changed the amount of gyms that were out there the amount of people that were training i mean when you retired we got a lot of, of letters to the show specifically talking about what you know you did for them in terms of inspiration but yeah there's something about that and i think that's also why the ufc they it's not that they wanted Ty tyron to lose it's that they really want to go into those markets and they know how valuable it is to have guys that are champions from these different parts of the world and what it does for the the visibility on the sport in those parts of the world yeah absolutely they, they need someone i mean daryl's done a great job of picking up where i left off if you will uh you know and the, having another champion from the uk would have been awesome you know as i said he's still only young it'll probably happen again but uh amazing job tyron woodley you know i mean he had well he looked like he walked in there with the world of pressure on his back you know he wasn't smiling he looked very tense and i was kind of you know i know tyron he's a good guy we kind of bust each other's balls a little bit but he's a great guy i messaged him this morning trying to get him on the podcast and uh, he never responded so our relationship just took us uh, you know a, a turn south tyron we, you got to respond to my messages messages brother come on but mm. um yeah it's a shame it's a shame for dan but he'll be back Dude, what happened with um, Snoop Dogg, Harrington? You sent me. I didn't see actual Snoop Dogg's commentary. Have, have you saw, seen it? Well, I, yeah, pull it up. Pull it up on the screen, actually. Um, I just saw what Darren Till tweeted back, I guess. Snoop well, Dogg. well, listen, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the Snoop Dogg double G. I mean, I, I was a big fan. Yeah, who doesn't love a bit of Snoop Dogg? Love Do you know it. what I mean? Um, what was it called? The Dog Pound? That was That's one of my favorite albums from 1993. I remember rapping that shit at high school. Uh, my mom, I used to play a lot of rap music at home. My mom used to call it devil music. Get that devil music off in my house now. She's Irish. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. So a big fan of Snoop. And I remember meeting him backstage at UFC 114 when Rashad fought Rampage. I was the co-main event. And I walked backstage. He was there. We shared a little fist bump. I was like, oh, fuck, cool. Snoop Dogg. For shizzle. Um, for shizzle. Manizzle. Oh, this and is now, the, Well, this is now. 
But well, well, this is the video of Snoop Dogg doing his own commentary, if you will, of uh, Tyrone Woodley. Yeah, the family. gorilla that ran up on King Kong, Tyrone Woodley. Beat his ass. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Beat his motherfucking ass. Fuck Donald Trump, nigga. Beat his ass. For all the niggas out there, cuz. Whoop this motherfucker. Whoop his motherfucking ass. Beat his motherfuck this motherfucker, cuz. Now, is this officially from the Fuck UFC Donald stream Trump, that he does commentary for? No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, kill this. We got it. Kill this. So there's a few things that need to be pointed out. Number one, Tyron Woodley is not fighting Donald Trump. I don't know if you know this. Number one, Tyron Woodley is not fighting Colby Covington there. So unfortunately, I think Snoop Dogg uh, is a little confused. He, he thinks, thought it was Colby. Uh, Dar- Darren Tilly's Colby Covington. Well, hey, or he, listen, he got I, his I'm, wires I'm crossed. I'm black guys. All those white guys look alike. You know That's what I mean? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> all, all those white guys look alike. All you white guys, you guys got an extra bone in your leg or something that makes you guys excel in college. Do it, and do fucking, it. I don't know. <laughs> no, look, yeah. I think that he got his wires crossed. He probably heard some of the story. And what doesn't really pay that much attention because he's fucking Snoop and doesn't have to. So he's a casual fan. And he just heard at one point that... This guy that had a beef with, you know, uh, Tyron Woodley, want, you know, took a picture with Trump, and he just didn't fucking know the story, right? No, he had no I idea. Know. I so know. then he started getting all passionate about it and getting really into it, which is just kind of funny in general. Watch, I watched um, fights with, uh, like, watching with a, a casual fan, but like from the hood. My friend Yamanika came and watched the fights one time at a comedy club, and she's like a, a hilarious comedian, a big black woman, very loud, very like, dude, fucking such a funny chick. But she it, she gets into it on another level, just like fucking straight up like hood, like just screaming at the TV. So Snoop, you know, he got caught off guard there. But but Darren Till took issue with it and tweeted, "Shit happens." Well done, T. Woodley. You will see me very soon, um, or you will all see me very soon. And then at Snoop Dogg, you're a fucking bitch. Fuck you. So fair enough. Fair enough. You see someone cheering your opponents on so vigorously like that you do say fuck you that's fair enough fair enough for darren i mean i don't blame uh snoop i don't know if snoop and Tyron are friends uh they've probably met each other i think they have actually an unbreakable performance a gym here in la um yeah so what no big deal no big deal he, he's supporting one of his friends you know of course darren's gonna be a bit pissed off but uh I Tyron darren, Woodley. well darren shouldn't well, he shouldn't have even taken offense to it because it was obviously he didn't fucking know yeah, who he yeah. was even. So, 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 do do we think we're gonna see uh, Coffington and Woodley? Because Woodley's not keen on that fight. I think they should definitely do it. Of course, I think uh, Coffington, as much as a fucking idiot he is, and he is an idiot of epic proportions. He's an absolute douchebag. But you can't deny that the guy was the interim champion. You know who did he beat for? He beat Dos Anjos. You know, in a le- legit fight for the interim belt. So therefore, that that that's the next logical matchup. And I think. Um, Given the whole, the, there's kind of a political side to it now with him being a Trump supporter and guys like Snoop Dogg coming out and cheering fuck Trump and all the rest of it. I don't know, it'd be an interesting lead up to that fight. All right, let's take a quick moment to hear from Performer Sleep. This is a bed that I sleep on. They sent me one recently, i got to say. Outstanding. Very much do enjoy this mattress. Of course, we're going to say that. But this thing is so convenient. It arrives in a box. You pull it out of the box. Boom. There you go. An amazing bed with Copper Cool technology. I don't know if you know much about that. But, Lewis, tell the people what Copper Cool technology does. So, basically, it's a combination of uh, gel particles and microscopic copper particles infused throughout the entire foam. It creates a cooler night. Copper, if they use it for healing a lot. You'll see this at like if you go to like a drugstore, there's like copper braces and things, and it draws heat out of the body and keeps you nice and cool, um, which apparently helps for things like muscle recovery. Great if you got a bad back. Great if you're an athlete. If you got bad knees, like Michael Bisping, who's complained a million times on the show, your ent- your entire bed has copper infused throughout it. It's a natural heat conductor. Uh, the the copper particles in the foam transfer heat away from the body, and they give you more of a comfortable, cooler night's sleep. Imagine being able to turn your pillow over and over again, all throughout the night, just mm. happening over and over again. So, uh, and everybody wants it. the cool side of the pillow. Everybody wants do. that. If you don't want the cool side of the pillow, you're a weirdo. Yeah, My turn wife it off right now. It doesn't. But, but, 
what you can do if you want one of these amazing beds and bearing in mind the bed is you know it's essential you need a good mattress and these are fantastic mattresses as i say i thoroughly recommend them perform sleep are offering free shipping straight from the manufacturer to your front door what does that do it cuts out the middleman so there's no retail markup and it makes it a hassle free experience we also offer a 100 night in-home risk-free trial this allows you to test out the mattress see if you like it if you don't like it send it back they don't care. We don't care. You know why? Because we know you're going to like it. So here's what you do. You go to performasleep.com. Performasleep.com. P-E-R-F-O-R-M. Performasleep.com. Use the promo code BELIEVE. We're going to give you $150 off any size mattress. Promo code BELIEVE. Performasleep.com. $150 off any mattress you want. Trust me, this bed is comfortable it's awesome it helps me sleep well and the copper fuse technology really helps draw natural heat away from my body all right let's get back into it